<laughs> as long as I don't crash while filming. Okay, we're very proud of ourselves. We asked around in Spanish how to get cervezas. Two people directed us to this little house, Casita, which sounded very strange to go by beer in a little house, but hey, we're in the middle of a little town. <laughs> <laughs> and we only rode our bikes down a washboard road. Hey, pretty cool though, oh, they had shikis. two kinds of cerveza. Tecate and Tecate light. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and a Tecate red, Tecate light. Pack from a house. True. It was cool. We did it. We're rather proud of ourselves. <laughs> Welcome to Stout Conversations, where every week we sit down with creative thinkers in the craft beer industry and beyond. Your hosts, Ken and April, live and work in a 24-foot RV, traveling the country in search of great stories around a great beer. Want to play a game? It's called Taste All the Mexican Lagers Game. You'll need six Mexican lagers of your choice and limes. Find a beach or a picture of a beach. Grab a friend, two chairs, some chips and salsa, and one really good beer to reward yourself with at the end of the game. Sweet. Now it's not just Kenny and I being dorks on the beach in Baja tasting beer. It's all of you too. Salud. Is it possible to drink beer and keep my stomach sucked in the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> you just hand it over to me and I drink the beer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's a good way to start, right? Yeah. Cheers. We're on the beach in Baja, California. Um, Which is Mexico, people. Mexico. Baja, California, Mexico. About what? That's why uh, we have all these Mexican beers. Yeah, we're about, how far south are we? About four Not very far. and a half hours south of Tijuana? Yeah, Which is south of the border. four and a half, five hours south of Tijuana. Um, we're south of Ensenada, if you know Baja California at all. Uh, we're a little bit south of San Quentin, if you know really know Baja California at all. But uh, yeah, and, and so we decided we're gonna try some Mexican beers on the beach while we're on the beach. Okay, so but, the purpose of this is we're gonna taste these beers and see which ones we like better. And you, oh sorry, go ahead. You can choose whatever beers you like better, but this is just our humble opinions. Well, and the beers we have right now are just straight up pretty much what like in the US we would call mass market beers just the Mexican mass market beers they're not craft beers like you know we usually do craft beer but Aren't they Mexican we just lagers? wanted to try it uh, most of them are lager like, actually all of them are lagers yeah so they are all Mexican lagers we don't have Pacifico in the lineup we don't have Victoria in the lineup just because you, you can't get everything yeah and you can't, we don't have soul. Mexico is huge. You can't get everything in the United States right. either. No, I'm, that's you what I'm saying. The places we've been so far over here in Baja, liquor stores and everything, we just, they didn't have all of the ones that we would have tried. So we've got Tecate, Modelo, Corona, Dos Equis, Bohemia, and Indio. You keep talking about the beer. I'm going to soak up the sun. Oh. And so... We're just going to dive in and try them all, though, and talk about them a little bit. We do have soul. We have soul. We have the sun, the soul. See. Hey. So warm. Mi esposa es loco. That's one I learned right away. So where do you want to start? I don't know. Which, well, what do you think is going to be the worst? What's going to be the lightest or the one we probably, which usually is going to be the one we least like because we usually go for something that's darker or more flavor anyway. I think, pro I don't know. Everybody drinks Tecate, tecate and Dos Equis. We've seen a lot of Tecate and Dos Equis drinkers. Oh, and these need... Wait, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> necessi necessita... Necessitan? Necessitan. Necessary. They need... <laughs> Limon. Limones. However, we'll try them in their raw form, and then when I actually drink them... We're learning... That's a very U.S. thing, so... The limones are You're going to show your tourist, it, your, the tourist side of you, if you uh, pull out the limon or ask for the um, limon. Dos equis. Dos equis, let's go. Open it, girl. Dos equis. Okay, I'm not an expert beer taster. I'm just going to taste them and not going to give go into everything. We drink a lot of beer, that, therefore we are experts. No. Semi-pro. I mean, obviously, you're not really going for the nose off of a light lager, so. Yeah, but on the beach, that would work. Although it is glass, so. 
but that would be good on the beach because on the beach if you're sitting on a beach day all day long Cerveza Dos Equis Lager Especial and this is what he does a lot I talk he ignores me so he has no idea what I just said what did you say? you said if you're drinking this on the beach you could drink it all day long see I don't ignore you as much as you think I do wait I want to compare it to this it's just a nice you know it's a light lager much like not much off of the path of an American light lager. There's more flavor in the Dos Equis. Dos Equis. Yeah, I think I see more people drinking Dos Equis than Tecate, but I don't know. I could be wrong. That's not bad. I think I might actually like this better, though. I could see you liking the Dos Equis better because it has a bit of a citrusy taste to it. Okay, we're in too Just deep a hint, hint of a citrus in that one. Not so much a little more no citrus in the Tecate. Where do we want to go next? Indio. Let's go. Okay, the Indio is a mass market beer in Mexico. It's another light lager. But the funny part is you're going to see these around with different labels. And Indio just Basically, they make the one beer, but as far as I know, they make the one beer, and they put a bunch of different labels on it. If you're a tourist coming down here and going, oh, wow, there's like 10 different Indios. No, there's not. I think the fishermen in the background are more entertaining than us right now. I don't know what you can see, but a book just came in. Okay, Indio, so far, out of the Tecate, Dos Equis, and Indio... Indio is the most water-like. <laughs> wow. There's like nothing it in there. It's, is. It seriously is like... That Indio makes Tecate and Dos Equis seem like craft beers. I no. See. Yeah. It is not going that far. Almost. No. Almost. No. It's like drinking water. Let me see. Let me see. So, if you're going to Mexico and you don't want to drink the water, you're not sure about the water, buy some Indio. It actually doesn't cost much more than water either, so... That's no. Probably why it's not. I don't know. I'd never heard of India until I came down here. I want to say India was also about. Um, I want to say we got this. I think about three or four bucks for a six pack. Three or four American dollars, U.S. dollars. That's terrible. That's literally one of the wateriest most watery beers I've ever tasted. What's funny though is if you watched a previous um, interview or listened to it with uh, or whenever this goes out but I don't know Thomas and Lizzie we had Indios oh, yeah. to drink and it, it, it worked. What did we call it? The Bud Light of Mexico or something like I that? I think so. The Butt Light of Mexico. The Butt Light? <laughs> <laughs> but It'll give it, you a light butt. Okay yes. so it tasted good in quotes probably because we were still it was I a think warm, it was sunny the moment. day. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was the moment. And we're having friends, and I remember tasting good. But just tasting it to taste it, it's but light. But, Sorry, Kim. But if you're on the beach, and it's hot, and you're sweating, and you have an ice-cold bottle of water, that tastes good. So this is not far off from tasting an ice-cold bottle of water. It's an ice cold, plain old, crappy bottle of beer. And actually, even better but than these, I will tell you this right now is I don't know actually because I always drink Coronas with. We're lime. gonna have a battle. Shut up! I always drink Coronas with lime, so I don't know what it'll be like without it. But we're gonna have a Corona Modelo battle too, because our uh, sister and brother. Oh yeah. Our brother Dan loves Modelo Especial. That's his like go-to. You know, just easy drinking base beer. And our sister Aurora is basically a Corona girl. I fall in the middle with Pacifico most of the time when we're talking Mexican beers, but I don't have a Pacifico. I don't know. They're all kind of tasteless. <laughs> so we'll go Modelo. Compared to the Modelo Especial. I wonder if it's any... Uh, we should have brought some of these beers from the U.S. with us and tasted them side I would side. not have noticed a difference. Some geeky beer nerd like you might notice a difference. Maybe a little bit, but not much. The Modelo's good. That's a good beer. I think that's better than the Tecate and the Dos Equis. Yeah. 
we're just drinking beer to drink beer so we can say we drank beer at 10 30 10 10 30 whatever it is see i don't know what time it is it's because we're drinking beer at 10 in the morning i'm just happy that it's not windy and the sun's out so i don't know i like the modello that's good good job dan so far you're winning the battle corona La cerveza más fina. I don't know what fina means. The cerveza, the beer with. While fina. he's talking, I'm gonna drink. Probably flavor, I admit. Which might be a lie. I don't know. Well, that's kind of boring, too. <laughs> Is it better than boring. US Corona? I don't fucking know. But I know. Okay. I'm gonna spoil it. I'm just gonna be a spoiler say I've had this Bohemia and Bohemia is a little different whoa look at that boom baby the Bohemia is excited to win the battle I'm telling <laughs> you the Bohemia is excited the Bohemia is happy oh, here you have and the that. Bohemia is making me happy because Bohemia is a little different than yeah. all these other beers because Bohemia doesn't just make this beer this beer right here is a Vienna lager but they also make a Pilsner they also make a Hefeweizen. So none of And they also make an Oscura, which is a dark. None of other companies make other beers? No, they do. Actually, Modelo so does. So why is that different? Because it's good. Oh, okay. This is one you'll find a lot, and it's the Vienna Lager, which is more of like an amber lager than, than a light lager. So we probably should have picked up some Pilsner. Yeah. To get closer to the light loggers, but the, I imagine Pilsner would still blow these away. I guess away. that just shows the point, though, is like you can still have a light, lighter beer and it can still taste better because this thing just blows all of those. If, if this wasn't full of beer right now, I would knock them all down. <laughs> but I still don't want to waste the beer, so I'm not going to knock them down because I'm going to make them better with limones. Oh, no. She's going <laughs> to... Just because it's mass... It doesn't fit with this grouping. So you know the whole Sesame right. Street game? Which one doesn't belong? <laughs> the Bohemia. You know the whole, yeah. So in Modelo other words, can be good too. Modelo Negro is a good beer. Sorry, I cut you off. In other words, you always cut me off. I'm good at it. In other words, we like the beers with flavor and these mm -hmm. really, it's safer for you to drink the beer here than the water. So just <laughs> drink the beer. <laughs> And some of it's not bad. I mean, especially if you're talking about kicking back on the beach or whatever. Of course, you're just like, give me an ice cold beer. And whatever. But, yeah, I mean, some of them okay. do make other beers. Like, Corona's started making a couple different kinds of beer now. And Modelo has, like I said, Modelo has Negro, which is Modelo Dark, a black beer, a black lager, which is a pretty good lager. And they, right now, around the holidays times... They have uh, Modelo Noches Especial, I believe it's called, which is kind of a an amber, but knocked up just a little bit. So Don't getting almost beer. into an Oktoberfest almost. They're all. They all they're have all a the similar same. So here, here's my piece of advice: when you're on the beach in Mexico, um, I don't know, drink what's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Go spend your money on the street food instead. Well, out of what we've got here, I would spend the money on Bohemia, and it's not really much difference in price. Um, oh, there it was. And I think... The Indio is just not good. Mode um, Modelo, is... to me, Modelo and Corona are probably the next runners up, and then... So, Uno, Dos, <laughs> Tres, yeah. Tres, Cuatro. Is that left to right on camera? That is right to left. On camera? No, left to right. Well, it depends. It's if my right to your left. you're looking at it from our viewer's standpoint, left. Yeah, but I'm not our right. viewers. I'm me. So it's going right to left. Bad? <laughs> no, worse. Muy mal. Very mal. bad. Muy mal. Remember, this is our opinions. And our butchered Spanish. So um, forgive us for that. Muy mal. Eh. Still bad. Tecate. Eh. Modelo uh, and Corona mujer. are good go-to beers. <laughs> mujer. Mejor. Mejor or mejor mujer? Mejor is better. Mejor. Not my whore. 
I not didn't mujer. Say it, you said it. Mejor. Better. Yeah, this is not a woman beer. Mujer. But wait, if you really this are looking a for a good beer in um, Baja, which I guess they call Mexico Light, the further south you get when you go into Baja, California, sir, I'm actually not sure if they have any craft breweries around there. There could be. Um, they will probably when you get to Cabo, but, way south. But around here, if you're um, looking for like craft breweries, which there are actually many, then you can still get good beer from Ensenada, um, Tijuana. You Ensenada, can still get Tijuana. There's beer. a little uh, bit Mexicali. in Mexicali. There are some breweries in those places or tap rooms. Which um, kind of figures because you're closer to the border towns. And you um, can get yeah. some of those in some of the bigger uh, supermercados here. Like if you go to Calimax. They do have some places where you can buy some craft beer just like in a, in a market, in a supermarket. Let's see. Watch. See what you think. I'm definitely going with this one because it's the no, only No, drink it with the beer. lime. All right, I'll see. try it. This is the only somewhat Negro beer in the lineup, so darker beer, flavor beer. Oh, I get a lot of lime on the nose. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Since you stuck a lime in it. I'm sticking a lime in it because it makes it taste better. Oh, and don't get us wrong, we will be happily drinking many of these Mexican lagers while sitting on the beach. We have been happily oh, yeah. drinking yeah. many of these Mexican lagers while sitting on the beach, and there are no complaints coming from us. So we thank you, Mexican lagers. <laughs> However, the Limon Mujer. Damn it! Mejor! <laughs> <laughs> and we'll bitch and moan about beer all day because we are kind of beer snobby at times, but at the end of the day, um. a lot of times a beer is as good as what the situation you're in. The people you're sharing it with, the moment you're having on the beach. I'm always getting sappy. Enjoy it. Which? It's which all one? good. Uno, limon, indio, no, dos equis, No, don't waste it on the indio because then you're just making lime juice or dos equis. Try the modelo. I've never modelo. had it in yeah, modelo. <laughs> we'll see what we... Maybe Try we'll not Dan to off. squirt it on this. I don't think Dan would put a lime in his. Put the lime in the coconut. Alright. So Corona. Corona's. Bien. Mejor. Bien con limón. Tecate. Modelo, eh? I don't know if it really works with the Tecate either that much. Yeah. It's a little better, but it, it works. You have to have a lemon with the Corona. I think lemon and Corona works pretty well. Probably because the flavor is just a little bit citrusy anyway. But not with the other beers so much. See, and if know. you touch the Bohemia with a lime, I'll chop your fingers off. I don't know. Yeah. I mean... We're being snobby, but yeah, I mean, a lot of these beers are good on the beach, so. But, if but you really, we did bring. No, no, no. Say what? it right. Wait, what? Who? Say it right. If you really want good beer in Mexico. If you really want good beer in Mexico. You gotta brew it yourself. You gotta brew it yourself. Oh yeah, we did do that, didn't we? I forgot about that. So yeah, if you can't find craft beer, you make craft beer. And you craft it. And this is a little cake thing called a U cake. That looks pretty good. We Wait, where's the other glass? Where's I only brought one. Oh, you only brought one glass? Oh, we can't cheers then. We can share it. I'd like to try some though at some point. <laughs> so this is a beer we made down here. Um, it's kind of funky. It's kind of a Belgian-y, Saison-y kind of thing. That's better than last night. But it's funky because, uh, so we did a Belgian Saison, right? Yeast. Yeast. And we threw some star anise in it, which is kind of a licorice flavor. Very little of that. But then three different peppers from here, which are all... Can you no remember heat. them? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> moleta. Moleta. Um, pas pasaya. You're good. E ancho. Nice. Ancho. And, and 
that's the holy trinity of chilies according so did, to some website i, I think we did a little too much because we did the peppers <laughs> we did the anise and we also did oh, um, nopales. nopales which is uh, cactus. like cactus Cac the paddle of a, yeah. of a prickly bear cactus that's so, the actual green part this is probably not one of our best creations however it does it's it's, it's kind of reminiscent of mexico i think but the chilies we used are dried chilies basically so it probably would have been a little bit better with fresh chilies of those peppers because then we get more of the like flavor out of the fruit of, of the chili um, but it's but it has a it still has a lot more flavor than all much, of these yeah. but honestly um it's not if i'm gonna sit on the beach for an hours on end and like play in the water and drink and eat i might have one of these but i probably have like six of these <laughs> I don't know what that says. That's, That's why you nice. have beach beer compared to craft beer. <laughs> uh, I take it. I win the battle. Uh. <laughs> and what makes everything better with beer on the beach is chips and salsa. This actually kind of goes into, tastes more like a lot of the mixed fermentation beers I've tried. It's my salsa. So I could do that. <laughs> Tastes what? Like mixed fermentation? Almost like a mixed fermentation style of beer where it's a little more funky. It's very it's different than what we've made before. It, which is different for us. But it's good. It's it's not bad. I, it's just not my favorite style, I think. No. Okay. These are damn good. Awesome. Chips. Yeah. Chips, salsa, beer, beach, baja. I mean, it pick a beer, it doesn't matter really. Like, it's the ambiance and everything around you that counts. The yeah, people you love. Say. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That may that makes the moment sometimes. Sometimes the beer is good enough. The moment because makes the of beer. all the people in the moment you're in. So cheers. cheers. Salud. 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 How'd the game turn out? Who won? You or the beer? Did you have a favorite, or do you think they all sucked? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Caught me at my best. Working hard on videos for you guys. So hit subscribe. You don't want to miss out on what we got coming for you. Cheers. Are you ready? Si, mejor. 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 <laughs> not mejor. 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 <laughs> no, it's not mejor. Mujer. <laughs> if it's flashing, it's warning. Don't. <laughs> it's not <laughs> recording. Okay. Ah. Cool. Uh, you have to good be weird. sound effects. You got to be weird. You have to be weird if you're going to do drinking at 10.20 uh, in the morning. 10.20? Nobody has to know that. Yeah, they do. I like that. Nobody has to know it's 10.20. But I like where, that. But it's 4.20 somewhere. Are you smoking? Why do you get so weird <laughs> <laughs>